Well, residents in Rockhampton are fired up that a promise from the previous government to build a ring road around the central Queensland town won't be going ahead. Joining me now live on this is National Senator Matt Canavan. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. I do want to ask you about that. Uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But firstly, what do you make of the government's efforts so far to try to bring gas prices under control? Well, uh, the, this new government, uh, Danique, is a bit like the dog who caught the car. Uh, they really don't know what to do. Uh, uh, they announced a budget last week, which quickly became about not their budget, but about every family's budget, and the fact that uh, energy prices would skyrocket by 56%. And since then, they've been flailing around looking for an answer about bringing energy prices down. They clearly have none or no answers that they've agreed upon. You've got the industry minister saying that gas companies are greedy. The resources minister saying, no, it's all resolved. We've already got an agreement with them. And Anthony Albanese, there's sort of this umpire in the middle that doesn't know which way to call the show. So uh, this is very disappointing for Australian families because they are struggling right now to pay their bills. My bill turned up the other day. It was up 15%. And as I say, next year, looking at uh, three times that. So it's going to be very, very hard. Do you support Matt Keane's proposal on a national coal and gas reserve? Well, I do think we should be moving to a reservation scheme, but I'm not exactly sure how Matt thinks that scheme would work today. You cannot transport gas from Western Australia. Physically, you cannot take gas from Western Australia and, and send it to Eastern Australia at the moment because we have no pipelines, nor do we have an LNG receival terminal. So I, I don't know if Matt understood that when he made the suggestion. Maybe he thinks we can get it from hot air balloons, but, but you, you, they just don't have the infrastructure there right now. So that's not going to solve things the next year or two. We should build an LNG receival terminal. There's a number of proposals there. That would be some of some benefit potentially. But really what we need to do is make sure we develop new gas fields, bring on new supply, uh, and we should have reservation schemes in place like the previous government announced for new ones. Uh, retrospectively, if we do that, we could risk future investment. We need future investment. I read today that the Labor Party apparently going to put, put a stop to 20 coal and gas projects around the country. I mean, this is a, how can they say they want to lower energy prices when they're trying to stop uh, energy projects that will deliver more supply? Well, one of the issues being looked at, I guess, is a domestic price cap. Is that something that you believe Labor should be looking at? Or do you believe that ro what Rob Sims said this week is right, that it could potentially have unintended consequences? Uh, look, uh, price caps don't work, and, and we've been here before. Uh, I suppose many in the Labor Party don't remember the 1970s, but I know lots of people who uh, did live through the Whitlam government remember it. Uh, there, was there was attempts to cap prices. It never works because it does reduce business, reduce investment, and eventually the caps have to be list lifted to great pain and, and uh, disruption. So uh, hopefully the government won't uh, try to uh, think that that's going to be a solution. As I say, the solution here is to get more supply uh, out. If we want lower energy prices, let's use the energy that God blessed us with. We've got probably more of it than any country in the world per person. We shouldn't have shortages of energy. We only do because it's man-made and we're not reproducing our own energy resources right now.